I don't know. I thought this might be a neat video for uh, the beginning chainsaw carvers um, that want to carve in their backyard with a battery chainsaw. This is the steel MSA 140C. Okay, it's a battery saw. Battery goes right here. You can see how full your battery is. So we got three bars. It's got a steel carving bar on it. Okay. So all you need to do, if you want to buy this saw, it comes with the battery, it comes with the charger. I suggest get an extra battery, maybe even a speed charger if you can afford it. All you need to do is order a bar, a steel carving bar, they might be on back order. This is 12 inch, dime tip, and a 043 gauge chain. I haven't tried this uh, saw with a 50 gauge chain, but the 043 gauge chain is thinner than the 50 gauge but it already comes with the sprocket inside here okay so you don't need to change the sprocket it already comes with a quarter pit sprocket so it's basically you know you buy it and order the order the friggin bar and you're good to go and a chain you're good to go so i blocked out this tree with this saw you guys can draw it see this is western red cedar um it's like I think this is like three inches thick, but yeah, so I'll just kind of take off a little bit so you can see. And it's pretty dull actually right now. Okay, so it cut through the three inch cedar, no problem. So what I'm gonna do is all these lines that I drew on here, I'm gonna cut on these lines, first of all, and I'm gonna undercut, because these are the big clumps of branches, okay? Um, I gotta do this, I wasn't planning on doing this video, so this is kind of just like a whatever, extra. And I'm gonna run it real time, basically. <sighs> now I can do the undercut there now, or I can do it after. Okay, so my camera stopped when I was filming, I'm so sorry. But what I did is I cut straight into each line one way, okay? One side, then I came over to the other side, did the other side, then I cut here to remove the wood. So a straight cut to the line, then a cut here to remove the wood and this chunk will come right out. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. But so that's that. Now, put, with these saws, you got to remember to check your oil. What you know when you use chainsaws, every time you put gas in, you put bar oil in. So, not with this. You just kind of got to check the oil once in a while. Another good thing to do with these saws, sometimes like where the chain is in here, where the sprocket is, just get your blower and blow all the junk out of there. Keep all your filters clean. You know. An air compressor with a little blower really helps for uh, carving. Or you can get yourself like a, like this cordless Dewalt. These are really good to have too. Or one that plugs in. Okay, so now's the fun time. So now I can just sit here and carve all the branches in. I wanna make them all go this way on this side, right? Let's see, do I got a pen? I don't need to draw them on, but like, not straight up and down, just, and I'm going to carve this one really deep. So these separate cuts here don't um, seem so, doesn't seem like a big clump. You could do the trees any way you want to do them. Just have fun. Okay, so I'm so sorry that uh, cut out when I was doing the block out, but I think, oh, you can make sense of it.
And you guys notice, I'm not coming straight in with my bar, I'm using the side of it. These, these uh, 043 cuts super thin. This chain is a little bit loose, that's okay. Just like that, okay? So now you look at it, you think, is that proportionate? Well, it is kind of proportionate, but I don't like this bump here. I am the worst at kicking the camera set, the, the tripod. See, I don't like this part here. It just doesn't flow. If, it, if that part's gone, it'll flow nicer. That's what carve deeper means. If you see something that doesn't fit, carve deeper, get rid of it. Okay, now let's do the other side. Okay, so I see this here. I might want to remove some of this wood because it's kind of blocky. start with one line all the way down then you'll see I'll split it up that line like I'll give you an example here I'm gonna do one line so I keep the flow of the piece going then I'll cross them and make it look like a bunch of different ones all you need to do I usually carve the tree trunk first because then when I so now for example when I go to split this and put it in my jaw horse when I tighten up my jaw horse these branches can break off but let me try and figure out so like normally this piece would be cut out I'd have this top down here when it's solid because then you can clamp it on the jaw horse if that makes sense to you what's that Okay, so what we'll do, I'm just gonna lean it on the jaw horse. And I'll show you how I just kind of, I'm gonna have to go really light and easy. So I'll, I see here, you know, that's why I'd like to do this part first. I see here there's an undercut in there, so I'll just get rid of that, Mr. Credible Hulk. And uh, yeah. Make sure you don't hit your jaw horse. And I hit my jaw horse. Okay, so let's just do this.
Okay, you can do under these branches too if you want. Let's see here. Are these things still filming? Can you see? Yep. So I'll just carry on these branches. Okay, other side. Okay. Put it back in your jaw horse. Lift it up a bit. Now we're ready to burn it if you want to do some burning. Okay. So let me get the torch and give it a quick torch. So I can see a couple spots. Like this still looks full. There's no cut here. If you know what I mean, it just looks like a solid piece. So I want to cut these out, separate it. Look for any other ones that you think are too solid. Yeah, I think that's good. Get my torch. This is just a mount propane torch. This uh, turbo torch is called turbo torch. I believe these ones burn the hottest. There's different ones. The ones where you can just click it and it will start. This is the old school one. You can turn this. But this is the hottest torch in my opinion. This is basically just the, to get rid of the fuzzies before you sound it. Okay, so this solder that I have here is a ready rod, okay? Ready rod is like it's these nuts screw onto it. This is a locking nut. It has a washer on there. And then there's a nut, locking nut under there with another washer. And it's just like quarter inch ready rod or whatever fits in your drill. And this is a grinder handle, okay? I use this grinder handle. I had to hollow it out here with my Dremel so it fit in there. But I use this because if you don't have this part here, when you're sanding, because these this is uh, emery cloth, like old, it's strong sandpaper, your knuckles can hit here, the sandpaper when it's spinning, and trust me, you, you'll get knuckled and you have big scabs on your knuckle and everybody will, the girl at the grocery store last week said, oh, are you a scrapper? I says, are you a fighter? I says, no, why I was. She's like, I'm like, why? And she goes like, oh, because your knuckles are all uh, cut up. And I says, no, no, that's just from what I do. Anyways, let's sound this. Yeah, I should have been wearing a dust mask, but there's a good breeze today. That's it. There's your tree. You know, you want to get some uh, green paint, kind of lightly spray it green.
Sorry in the back of it. Oh, another thing too, when I do the trees, your chainsaw, because you get broken pieces off here, I just kind of go like this. Let me sign it. There. There's an $80 tree. Hope you guys are all good.